Hey, what's going on, guys? Perry the Irritator here, hosting another episode of Spoilers for WWE SmackDown for June 3rd, 2011. I know you guys were expecting a surprise today, but you will see it tomorrow on the Entertainer Show. Um, if you want to see it on the Entertainer Show, then or just comment down below. I will wear it during the storm tomorrow on Friday. Or I will wear it Friday at seven uh, for the storm. So. Um, yeah, so let's get this started. I didn't even want to do tonight because of the fact that there was a world title match tonight. And I don't trust world title matches on SmackDown anymore, so I wasn't even going to do it. But I ended up doing it. So, here are your SmackDown results. Christian beats Mark Henry. What a shock. After the match, Christian demands to be in tonight's main event. For the World Heavyweight Championship, Teddy Long ends up making him the special guest referee in the bout between Sheamus and Randy Orton tonight for the title. Something's telling me nothing, something's going to go bad and Orton's going to win the title because of Christian. Something's telling me that's going to happen. If if that's not, you know, if that's not, that's not. But seriously, I, I can see that happening. Christian's going to screw Sheamus out of the title. Or he could screw Randy Orton out of the title, too. So let's go to the next. Alicia Fox and Tamina beat AJ and Caitlyn, blah, blah, blah. When does, what did Caitlyn win? She just won a contract for her winning NXT Season 3. She just won a contract, or she just or did she win a title match, too? That's what I thought. Whatever. Go to the next part. <clears throat> Cody Rhodes comes out and delivers a heel promo on Daniel Bryan. Uh, obviously, these two are going to get into it probably at uh, Capital Punishment. Maybe um, I don't. I I think that's amazing how everybody's expecting at Capital Punishment to be good because it's going to be in Washington D.C. Everyone's just expecting it to be good. Uh, Jinder Mahal beats Yoshi Tatsu in a squash match. Thank you, God. Uh, Jinder Mahal actually works a match. I'm a fan of Jinder Mahal. And uh, after Friday, he may be on my top ten list. You may never know. So, uh, you know, well, obviously I can't take Riley off there. Riley was, he just made his debut for the uh, list. So I can't take Riley off, but I could take some people off. I can make some room for Jinder Mahal. He's my, he, he I'm a fan of his. I, I like I like Jinder Mahal. Uh. Ezekiel Jackson beats WWE Intercontinental Champion Wade Barrett via countout. So I heard this is a, I heard this was a title match, but uh, it was via countout. So Jackson then had to deal with the core after the match, and obviously the core beat him up. Honestly, am I the only one that's actually getting very tired of the core beating up Ezekiel Jackson? This is just really stupid. This is all proving. Oh, okay. Well, three people against a giant or a giant big guy like a big muscle guy like Ezekiel Jackson apparently they don't want that and this is all proving WWE to be really racist with when it comes to their champions when it comes to their champions the only excuse me African American WWE champions I can think of were WWE not WCW or ECW or whatever but the WWE only one I can think of off the top of my head is The Rock and Booker T. Those are the only two I can think of off the top of my head. So honestly, and that's just that's just that. Then the Godfather Intercontinental Champion, but they never ever ever give the champions to African Americans, and that's just getting me thinking. I'm thinking, is WWE just a real racist company, or just I don't know. Like look at Mark Henry. He the only championship he's ever won is the ECW Championship. Ugh. Whatever. And this guy came... He came back from injury. He didn't even betray your damn company. Ugh. God. This is just turned into a rant. I'll, I'll rant about this. Probably Sunday's rant or something. Ugh. Backstage, Seamus tells... I thought this said Tella. <laughs> Backstage, Seamus, Seamus tells Christian he he shouldn't have gotten in the triple... He should have gotten into the triple threat... Christian doesn't believe him and tells him to keep his focus on Randy Orton. Basically, uh-oh, something's going to brew here. Something's going to happen here, and Christian's probably going to get his world title match again at Capital Punishment and possibly win it. So, let's go. Daniel Bryan beats Ted DiBiase. What a shock. Ted DiBiase just sucks now anyway. 
Uh, after the match, Rhodes beats down Brian, but Sin Cara makes the save. Thank you, God. But if you guys haven't heard already, Sin Cara will not be in this feud. He'll probably take part in this feud for a little while until Averno um, debuts. If you guys don't know who Averno is, he's the uh, latest Lucha Libre to um, sign a contract with WWE. I've seen a lot of his work on YouTube, and honestly, can I say he's a terrific wrestler? Terrific, terrific, like very good. <laughs> it did not sound as well as I thought it was. He's a good wrestler. How about I say that? Fantastic wrestler. Um, so I can't wait for him to make his debut. Also, I heard that they are taking off his mask uh, so he can feud with Sin Cara. I have no idea if that's true or not. If anybody knows the deets on that, um, please put that in the comments. So yeah, so Sin Cara will not be a big part in this feud. It'll probably be a big part until Averno debuts. Alright, I guess that's it. Holy crap, this is a small smackdown. Oh, holy crap. Jesus, it's like a paragraph. World Heavyweight Champion Randy Orton beats Sheamus. Son of a bitch. Whatever. To retain with Christian as special guest referee, Christian actually had an impact on the outcome of the match as Sheamus hit the bro kick only for Christian to delay the three count allowing Orton to hit the RKO and get the pinfall victory why am I not surprised I knew damn well if this was going to happen and now this is just unfair this is gayer than balls seriously you're really going to have a young guy Sheamus who's probably 28 to 32 I'm not going to I'm not going to bring up like an exact age right here, but still, you're going to bring in, Grant, granted, Randy Orton has signed a huge contract, Randy Orton's contract is good for like another nine, eight years or something like that, he just, he signed a 10 year deal I think like last year or something, so he's not going anywhere for a while, and that just pretty much proves his devotion to WWE, but still, at least treat everybody fairly, I mean, look at Sheamus, Two-time WWE champion and an er, not Intercontinental and United States champion. His United, look at all his reigns. All of his reigns barely last three months. His first WWE title reign went from TLC to Elimination Chamber. So he held it for the rest of December, j or January, and a little bit of February. He held it till then, so barely three months. Proving my theory, his second one won it at Fatal 4-Way, lost it at Night of Champions. Night of Champions is in October, I think. So, it's in October or September. I think it's in September. And Fatal 4-Way is, which is basically Capital Punishment, so it's in June. So, it goes June, July... August, September. So his that one was four. Granted, okay. And then his look at his United States title reign. It went from WrestleMania the day after WrestleMania to the next day on pay per view. He lost it at Extreme Frickin' Rules. What the hell? Did they like not trust Sheamus as their champion? What the hell? Another another thing that proves that WWE is trying to be racist on SmackDown. But anyway, let me finish this. After the match, Christian hits Orton with the title belt to end the... Ooh. Uh-oh. Looks like we may be getting a heel turn, guys. Maybe. Every I, I know everybody saw it coming. Everybody I know says... Well, obviously, I know they're not going to turn him heel. They can't because they don't have the amount of faces... On SmackDown. I mean, look at the main face on SmackDown. Obviously, is Randy Orton. But, you know, they you got to have some of those faces that can support the big face. I mean, you know, those secondary faces where if the main face goes away on vacation or an injury or any sort of something like that, that, that secondary face, which should which is Christian, he's a secondary face, who where... If Randy Orton suddenly goes on vacation or he gets suddenly injured somehow, Christian has to take the place. Christian has to take the, his spot of main guy on SmackDown. And that's why they need more secondary faces. They can't just keep, okay, well, Randy Orton's going to win it now. Then Christian, then we're going to throw a heel in there. We're going to give it to Sheamus. You can't do that. You can't do it all the time. 
Look at what they did on Raw. I mean, granted, the Miz. I know the Miz was not going to hold the title for not that for not that long. I knew that. But at least the Miz held it for a while. I mean, what he held it the day after Survivor Series, so that was November, December, January, February, March, April, and then he lost it in May. So yeah, he won a huge. Hold on, hold on. Let me recount that. November, December, January, February, March, April, May. No, so yeah, so he won a six-month title reign, and that was just his first month. That was already longer than Sheamus's. Sheamus's was, one was four, the other one was three and a half. No, maybe three and a half or two and a half. Two and a half or three, but still... Looks like we be maybe getting a Christian heel turn. Um, like I said, if you guys would like to, please subscribe up below. Also, comment down or yeah, comment down below. Give me your thoughts on SmackDown this week. Um, I apologize for everybody who doesn't want to know the ending of this match, um, and that's just a lot of people. Like they didn't even want to know the ending of the Randy Orton Christian match of um, last month. They didn't even want to know that, but whatever. Um, so that'll do it for me, guys. I if you would like us uh, or go down in the description box, click on my website, bookmark that, and you get your daily dose of WWE breaking news. So if anything happens with Christian, Randy Orton, Sheamus, any sort of Sin Cara up here, Daniel Bryan, any sort of Raw superstars as well, John Cena, The Miz, CM Punk, especially CM Punk. Cause CM Punk's got a lot to deal with, but. Also, that will do it for me, guys. Uh, for my 100th video, Spectacular, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. And like I said, the surprise will be either on The Entertainer Show tomorrow or I will debut it on The Storm on Friday. So, um, that will do it for me, guys. Perry The Entertainer signing off and peace out. Also, if you guys want to know what app this is, if you, I know somebody actually asked me this. Um, it is Wrestling News World on the iPod or the iPhone or whatever. So if you would like to read it before I do, go ahead. Um, that's where I get mine. That's where I love using mine because I also had the this other one. It was like PW Insider or something. I didn't like using it. So I stuck with Wrestling News World anyway. So that'll do it for me, guys. Pray the Entertainer signing off and peace out.